Hello and welcome back everyone, I am the Otaku and today I'm going to teach you some techniques that are going to make aiming easier and help you win a lot more gunfights. For the examples in this video, I am playing Star Wars Battlefront on PlayStation 4, but do note that these techniques are not game or platform specific. You can play on PC or console and use any type of controller or mouse and be playing any FPS game and still make use of these techniques. So I suggest you do your best to pay attention, watch the whole video, because what you learn today will be invaluable in your FPS gaming career. Before we begin, I wanted to take a quick second to give a big thank you to everyone who has donated to the Otaku channel. I do spend a lot of time working on the videos, and it's very kind of you to give back and show that kind of support. So thank you once again, and for anyone else who would like to support Otaku, there is a link in the description below. Alright, I am ready to go, so let's get started. The first thing you are going to need to learn is a very subtle technique that focuses on where to place your crosshairs when in a resting position. What I mean by that is where your camera and crosshairs are pointing when you are moving throughout the map and not engaging with enemies. This may sound a little strange, but it's actually very important and going to make a world of difference. Let me go ahead and show you why. Here is an example of some video footage. I'm standing there, I'm looking forward, and you will notice on my screen that there is a crosshair indicating to me where my weapon is aiming. In other words, if I were to shoot my weapon right now from the hip, this is generally where the bullets would go. Notice how when I aim with my crosshairs, it focuses in on that same area. And when I shoot while aiming, it shoots in the same direction as well. So as you can clearly see, the direction that you are aiming your camera and crosshairs is important because it is the direction that bullets will come out of when you shoot your blaster aiming or not. I know this sounds pretty basic, but it was important that we all agree and establish that. You will see why. To understand why it's so important where you are placing your crosshairs while maneuvering around the map, I'm going to show you two examples. In fact, it's going to be two videos of me doing the same thing, but just slightly different. Watch the examples, I'm running down the hallway, but there is a difference between the two. You can probably already see for yourself, the difference is that in the first example, I am moving with my crosshairs and aim facing towards the ground. In the second example, I am facing directly ahead of me through the corridor down the hallway. Now let's say while running down this hallway, an enemy appears at the very end. If I am using method number one, I then have to stop, adjust my camera upwards so that my aim is on the target, and then I can shoot. Instead, if I'm using method number two while the enemy appears, I am already positioned so that my crosshairs are over top or very close. I can immediately start shooting. So the lesson to be learned is, the less distance you need to move your crosshairs or camera position when you go to engage with the enemy, the better. Because what's better than aiming really good is not having to aim at all. Yes, I know, it's bloody genius. So make sure you're watching and paying attention to the example of me moving around the map. I make sure to always center my camera and crosshairs to the direction that I believe an enemy could possibly be coming from, and even go so far as to turn my camera and crosshairs as I turn the corner, so that my camera is always in the best position and I am quickly able to engage with my next target. Now obviously I am playing Star Wars Battlefront, and there is a crosshair on the screen even when I am not aiming down sight. This makes it generally easy for me to know where I should be pointing my camera at all times. However, other games, especially on hardcore game modes, might not have this. So you do need to practice by aiming down sight, trying to remember where that position on your screen is. Most of the time, it's going to be near the center, but it does vary sometimes. Some people even go as far as to placing a sticker on their screen to help keep track of where that is. The next strategy you should learn is called pre-scoping or pre-aiming. This is doing exactly what it sounds like. You are preemptively aiming in a specific direction for the purpose of being able to engage and shoot faster than the other enemy can. 
this strategy may seem very similar to the first one, and it is. But it's also different in that you are not just facing your crosshairs in the most logical location while moving around the map, but you are actually stopping and preparing to engage with the enemy because you definitely know that they are coming around a corner or from a certain direction. You can consider this the next step up, and you should only be doing this if you have a clear indication that the enemy is in fact coming. So like I just said, to do this strategy effectively, you need indications that enemies are approaching. Otherwise, you're going to spend the whole game just stopping and aiming for no reason at all. The best method to do this is by watching the minimap and the radar. Pretty much every FPS game is going to have one of these, and they are your best tool for the job. Next, you want to be listening to the footsteps or sounds around you. Not all enemies do show up on the map because a lot of games provide things to counter this. In Battlefront, that would be walking instead of running, or using the scout trait. The last method is knowing the map and the spawns. If you know that the enemies are spawning in a specific area, where they will most likely be coming from, then this makes it pretty easy to figure out the directions on the map that they are going to go, and then where you should position yourself to stop, aim, and get ready to engage. To make this more clear to you, this technique is essentially what you would be doing if you use the scan pulse to see enemies through the wall. You saw somebody, you knew that they were going to be coming around some corner, and so you stopped, you aimed, and you prepared yourself to engage with them. Except you can't always depend on the game giving you free wall hacks. So instead, we use other means to anticipate the enemy. This final technique is one that people have been asking me about for a while, and it's how to be more accurate, especially when aiming down sights and shooting at longer ranges. If you've been gaming for a while and ever watched some videos of pro Counter-Strike or Halo players, then you've probably seen this technique being used before, especially with snipers. Essentially what it is is moving your body while aiming has the same effect as moving the crosshairs with the mouse or joystick. But the difference is that if you're going to move your body, it'll move at a much slower and consistent rate, which makes for small adjustments in aim very easy compared to other methods. The problem is, is that it's very hard to have a high sensitivity, which allows for moving and turning around quickly, while also allowing for very precise aiming. So with this method, we completely forget about the mouse and the stick and aiming, and instead we think outside of the box and move our body instead. I also want to make it very clear that this method is generally intended for long distance, and not intended for close quarters aiming. The reason being is that in close quarters, you generally have to adjust your aim much more than you would for someone 300 meters away. And on console, there is an aim assist that will take over and snap onto the target in close ranges anyway. But that's not to say you can't use it at all. In fact, if you are playing a game like Counter-Strike or Battlefront, which relies heavily on hip-fire type gameplay, then do still give it a try because it will not only make your hip fire aiming better, but will also allow you to dodge incoming fire. Now let's go ahead and watch some gameplay footage of me using each of these techniques together in unison. You will notice that as I'm traveling through the map, I always position my crosshairs where I believe enemies will most likely be coming from. I also take the time to pre-aim on specific locations when I am about to engage. And I also make use of moving my body around for small adjustments in aim while hip firing or shooting down at longer distances. Altogether, they make me a killing machine that even without super ninja-like reflexes can still dominate the battlefront and easily obtain a high kill-to-death ratio while playing the objective. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as I mentioned before, donations are really helpful and allow me to get more game content and better hardware for the Otaku channel. I do have a ton of fresh new videos coming up soon, so please make sure to check back. And until then, as always, may the force be with you.